Hey, what's going on, dudes? Old Drew's back with some more goddamn metal for your asses. And I've got a fucking label review from this package that was sent to me by Aaron over at Goat Throne Records. Yes, you probably heard of Goat Throne Records. These dudes are fucking awesome, man. Thank you, Aaron, for sending this shit. Looking forward to fucking reviewing it, man. I gave everything a good, solid listen. Some of this I was familiar with, uh, but some, uh, all of it I've never actually sat down and just listened to as a whole. But, uh, yeah, going to get into that, man. Again, much obliged to Aaron for sending this stuff, man. Goat Throne Records. I will have the link in the description below. You can check all this shit out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that last live stream I did. Uh, and also did that live stream with M.O.D. and the fucking Madman Morton Red jumped on there. And we chit-chatted for, you know, I think that whole thing was maybe two and a half hours, something like that. I think Morton Red was there for an hour and a half or so of it. But, yeah, it was fucking great to finally, after all this time, get to talk to him. Got some more shit going to be coming up here in the future. Obviously, more fucking videos, more reviews. Uh, if you are with the band or with a label and you are interested in sending me anything to review, I only do full reviews on physical copies. It's just kind of my thing. I don't like to talk about shit that I don't like personally fucking own. And out of this, he sent me four albums, Aaron did, and he sent me a couple of uh, these. I'm not going to show you the, the fucking codes, but it's got like the, the band shit to go check out like their band camp. And I am going to mention this one because obviously all this came together as a package. He sent me four fucking albums. He sent me, I got a fucking Goat Throne sticker, I got flyers, all this other cool shit. So I am going to review this a little bit here. So the first thing we're going to do there is ETD. That stands for Eat the Decay. You guys should know them. This is fucking Francisco's band over at Joaba. And this is for their album nefarious means this is what came out last year it's the only thing that they have as far as i can tell kick-ass local houston death grind again featuring francisco over at joaba and i'm not sure if it's digital only but i have checked them out before and man if you dudes are into that kind of music that fucking really cool fucking death grind which i do enjoy plenty of it myself this is some damn good shit man etd again stands for eat the decay go check out that release of theirs it's available on Bandcamp, and I would love to get my hands on a physical release if they have one. I don't know if they do or not. I thought I heard something that they did cassettes. Still not sure. Uh, maybe next time I'm at one of these swap meets. In fact, Morton Red was telling me, because Morton Red lives around here as well, and they're having a Houston swap meet again. I went to the one a few months back. I did a video on that, uh, all the shit I got there. But Morton Red went to this last one, and he told me there's one, I think he said March 3rd. And I guess he's going to be there, so I might hook up with him over there. And apparently David Vincent from Morbid Angel is going to be there. So we might tell that motherfucker, hey. But yeah, Eat the Decay, stellar nasty shit, man. Check that shit out. Nefarious Means, their fucking album that came out last year. Again, I don't know if it's uh, if they have physical releases. I think they have cassettes, or at least did. But I would love to get my hands on one, man, because that shit sounds fucking great. In fact, I'm a pretty big fan of everything I've heard of Francisco's. I've reviewed like People's Savior before. Some of that other shit that he's done, uh, Cemeterian, uh, I've reviewed that. So yeah, Motherfucker makes good tunes, and obviously Joe Alba that's jamming out all badass. If you guys are not familiar with that, go over there and show his channel some love. He does a lot of fucking live streams. God damn, I think that dude does a live stream every fucking day. Seems like it anyways. But yeah, really cool shit, man. Uh, I can talk about a fountain of knowledge. This guy knows. This is, really is a guy that fucking has forgot more metal than you fucking know. I mean, it's just an insane amount of knowledge over the years that he's accumulated. But anyways, that's it for that. Now for the fucking physical albums. The actual physical albums. Again, I got four of these motherfuckers here. And I'm going to start right off the goddamn top with Church's Side. <laughs> That's right. This is their latest EP, Unassailable Temptation. Look at that cover. Pretty beast, right? Church Aside is a Texas band, which of course makes them awesome. And this is in that badass Black Death style that we all love, or fuck, at least I fucking love. They've been around since 2016, and they have a couple of demos, one full-length album, and a couple of EPs. Again, this being the most recent. And yeah, man, I've, I'm familiar with their stuff i came to uh to know this band just within the last year or so that i heard of them um i know fucking uh goddamn el necron over there at the witching hour another channel you guys should check out fantastic fucking live streams i've been on there before he's a really cool dude 
Um, yeah, he's played Church Aside. I have played them once or twice on a live show. I think when I did that Texas special, I played some of their shit on there. Um, yeah, it's um, pretty fucking good, man. Not only is it a cool album cover, you got the devil tempting Jesus with an apple. That is a, a really just cool artwork style overall. They even have Jesus looking like a fucking brainless zombie. Devil looks like he might be doing something more than just offering an apple, but hey, Jesus definitely got that glare on his face. They're just cool fucking, cool fucking artwork, which always, you know, it helps. And one of the guitarists for this band is the chick that's been with the, the band Morbasadad for a few years now. And I know I always catch shit for how I pronounce that band's name. That's just about as southern white boy as a pronunciation can get. And honestly, I don't really give two fucks. Morbasadad, Morbosidad, I don't really give a fuck, dude. Eight tracks on this bitch. About 16 minutes or so of aggressive, all-out black death. Work, worth checking out if you were into that style of music. And uh, another thing, just because it's black death, there's some kind of... I don't know, maybe everybody just lumps this shit in together, but this is also another reason I think a little bit more categorizing just to fucking nitpick, because I'm that asshole. Just to fucking nitpick and better classify. This is black death, but this, does, to me, does not fit into the war metal camp. Just so you know, some people will say, well, Black Death, that's war metal. To me, this this doesn't sound like war metal, but this is one of those styles that is really close. It's like on the border. Uh, Morbosidad, 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 whatever the fuck you want to call it. They're kind of like that, too, where, uh, you know, they have this really cool sound, really aggressive. It is like you hear black metal and death metal in it, but I still wouldn't really call it war metal. So just kind of a little bit of a nitpick there uh, for specifics but yeah it's a real cool fucking man if any of that sounds cool go check out church's side next up here we got this band called porphyrian if i am pronouncing that right obviously can't you guys read doesn't that say porphyrian yeah i'm kidding of course this is Blood Orgies Beneath Disgraced Temples, which is actually a really badass fucking title. And it's a real cool cover. I like the shit that's going on there. Obviously, uh, that logo is hopelessly illegible for me. And with a band name that's already kind of a little hard to pronounce, I, I might would have went with something different if I was in the band. Uh, and also, I probably ought to look that up. What the fuck does that even mean? Porphyrian. Interesting. Uh, the band's from Washington. This is Death Metal. This is their only release this full-length album right here that came out last year in 2023 and yeah so I had never heard of these dudes before and again upon seeing that band logo and just being absolutely fucking clueless I turned the CD sideways and, you know because I'm just smart like that and I can actually read the band name printed here on the spine and seeing the dudes on the back all these things together had me thinking Portland Oregon but fuck it I was close Washington State that's close enough. I don't know why, but there's, there seems to be almost a trend of sorts of these kinds of bands coming from that area of the country. No idea why, but I think maybe some of the crust guys, because I know that's a big thing around there, I think maybe some of the crust guys at some point started stumbling back across early 90s death metal, uh, because this is some solid shit. I just, it's, it's like something stands out to me, like I kind of know what this is going to be and where it's from. And I don't exactly know why, but so far my fucking senses have been accurate. But yeah, this is solid shit. Again, it's not going to have you rethinking what death metal means or anything like that. But if you're into newer, solid death metal that kind of touches on the old school style, this is some pretty good shit, man. There's some chaotic leads over the heavy riffs. You get a pretty good variety of grooves and chugs without being bored or... It, it being too all over the fucking place. I mean, I would say it's cool shit. Head over to Go Throne Records. Get your hands on this one, man. Nine tracks. 25 minutes of what I think I would best describe, again, is modern death metal with a strong early 90s death metal influence. And this band's only been around since 2020, so it'll be really cool to see where they go from here. That is Perfirian. Again, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Blood Orgies Beneath Disgraced Temples. And the third full length... God damn imprecation. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a this is a release that has eluded me for a long time. And I'm gonna fuck up the name of it, man. Theurgia Goetia Soma. 
I can never remember that, man. Houston, Texas, 1990s, early 90s, death metal legends, imprecation. They're very well known around my neck of the woods, unless you are a total fucking poser. Yeah, but seriously, man, they're uh, very well known around the old school death metal fucking scene here in Houston. Uh, everybody knows about them, man. And speaking of being a fucking poser, again, I'm, I'm obviously joking when I say that. Guys, by the way, I don't think the, the whole poser thing, man, I don't take that shit too fucking serious, man. It's just, it's funny. It's a way to, like, fuck, we fuck with each other. You know, metalheads, we fuck with each other about, you know, I, I know me and you might share taste in 99 fucking bands, but then I mention one band you don't know, now I'm going to call you a poser. It's just kind of a way that we fuck around, okay? So don't take this shit too fucking serious, because if you do, you're probably a fucking poser. Anyways, I can never remember the name of this fucking thing, and I actually did that stream the other day, like I said, with M.O.D. and Morton Red jumped on, and he started talking about how he met Aaron uh, from Goat Throne Records, and then I mentioned I got the package, and I mentioned that this was in it. Morton Red is also a you know, a local around my area, so obviously, and he's old school, knows his death metal, he knows imprecation, of course, we started talking about this album, and that fucking title, like, neither of us could remember it, and it's because, you know, it's in Latin, or Satanism, or some shit, and I, it might just be totally fucking made up, it, if it even is translatable, I tried to translate it here on Google, and it basically gave me, like, a laugh in my face answer, I, I don't know if it's real or not, but anyways, this is a compilation uh, this is kind of one of the, I would say this is the most infamous release from the band uh, that was put out back in 1995, and that's right, kiddos. This shit is probably older than most of you watching this. And it shows in the overall flow of the album, because I've listened to several of these tracks a few times over the years, but I've never owned this release and actually just sat down and listened to it continuously from front to back. And you can tell by different songs having different volume levels that it actually makes sense that this is a compilation. You can hear some tonal changes, but the big volume gaps is like... And when I'm listening to it, I was like, God damn, who who mastered this fucking thing? It's, like all, it's kind of all over the place, but it's because it's just a compilation, man. And I always considered this to be the band's first full length. That's what I always thought it was, but it is actually a comp of a bunch of the early shit. Nine tracks, badass old school metal, about 38 minutes long. And if you're familiar with the band Blasphurian, who I've mentioned before, sung the praises of, I have a bunch of their shit, uh, Imprecation sounds very similar, and that's probably because Wes Weaver did guitars for both bands. The early days of Imprecation, a bunch of this shit. Uh, and then he went on to do uh, Blasphurian, uh, back before he died, just a few years ago. But yeah, man, Imprecation, fucking old school death metal with satanic lyrics and imagery. The riffs are old school with a lot of really atmospheric, dark, doomy moments. So if you're into that, man, check them the fuck out. Houston Legends, at least give them a shot. I like a couple of their other releases as well, but this is a fan-fucking-tastic place to start. This is considered the classic. So check this shit out. Imprecation, Theurgia Goetia Summa. That's right. And last but not least here for Goat Throne Records, I got my hands on this thing. I didn't even know what to fucking think. I see the cover, and I'm like, okay, this could be really fucking good. This could be goddamn crazy. I don't even know, man. So last but not least, this fucker here is Ruin. That is Ruin, Plague Transmissions, Volume 3. Death Metal with a, uh, a few doomy moments, a lot of doomy moments actually, and a crusty edge to it. The band is from California, and looking them up, this band has a fuck ton of releases, man. Like three full length albums, a shitload of splits, and several EPs, and then they have uh, you know these compilations they do with all those together. And uh, yeah, man, another thing, go search Ruin in Metal Archives and swim through a fucking ocean of bands who apparently never thought that the name, a name like Ruin could be thought of by other motherfuckers making metal music. It, people amaze me sometimes. Like, how do you come up with a name like Ruin? I mean, something like that is such a, like a common word. It, it kind of has that connotation like, yeah, that could be used for a metal band. How do you start up a metal band in like 2016 and just not even fucking think, I wonder if anybody's ever used this before. It, it just blows my mind sometimes when you search some of these bands and like 30 fucking names pop up and... It's, how did you not think that somebody might have used it? Now, I would say, in their defense, these motherfuckers originally started off back in 1990. So that is a totally different thing. But I will say, shortly thereafter they started in 1990, they hung it up. They hung it up in, like, 1991. 
and then they hung it up all the way until 2015. So for me, that was kind of suspect, uh, you know, reading that and trying to think, like, why exactly would a band do that? Considering they only released one little, I think it was like a two-track demo back in the day, and then you're going to start up something again 25 goddamn years later. I would imagine, why don't you just start something new? But I guess they wanted to hang on maybe to that old school credibility. And by the way, when I say they, I mean the one original member, the guitar player that's on this and that has started doing vocals. Uh, but still, those complaints aside, judged on the fucking music. I put this thing on and the intro to the first track had me kind of wondering, man, what am I in store for? Because you see this album cover. There's like this fucking mangled, gutted dude. And then on the fucking back, you got this dude with like a fucking bashed in goddamn head. Uh, hopefully I can show that on fucking YouTube without this crap getting taken down. But it's pretty fucking brutal. This dude has definitely seen better days on the back cover here. If he is even alive, he might not be. And if he, yeah, actually I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, once I put this thing on, judging it by the fucking music, man. That first track had me wondering what the hell am I in store for. After that Reverend Chris Hades thing... I am still very suspect of new listens, especially when they have weird sounding intros. But once the music started, I was not let down. In fact, it was the opposite of being let down. I goddamn loved it, man. To me, this shit sounded like a cross between Autopsy with that Death Doom approach to extreme metal and fucking Mutilated Veterans, who, by the way, if you guys have not checked out that Nuclear Crust Warhead EP, that thing is fucking phenomenal so go check it out but this band sounds like a cross between autopsy and mutilated veterans autopsy again in that roaring death metal that occasionally will just fucking plunge off a cliff into the pit of doom uh, kind of like you you mix that with the fucking crusty ass heavy sludginess of mutilated veterans and again this release is called plague transmissions volume three and for all of you geniuses in the audience, that would of course imply that there are two more of these compilations. And god damn is this some good shit, man. In fact, there is so much material on this, it is a two disc release. And about an hour and 20 minutes, if I did my math correctly, which I probably didn't, but it's, it's fucking long. There's a lot of material here. The intros are badass with little sound bites from like movies and serial killers talking about fucked up things before the music just fucking murders you. So yeah, man, check out Ruin if you were into heavy shit about hacking motherfuckers up, man. Quality goddamn death metal. So there we go, dudes. That is four fucking albums, plus a little bonus there with the digital Eat the Decay, ETD, Nefarious Means. Check that out, man. Goat Thrones Records is fucking, that's a quality label based out of Texas. Aaron does not live very far away from me at all. We discussed that in uh, the email exchange. I'm sure I'll probably meet up with him with that swap meet if I end up going. And uh, that, that ought to be a lot of fun, by the way. But, man, there are a shitload of great bands that are released through Goat Throne Records. I've browsed the fucking site, man. I, I Obviously, uh, fucking Pius Levis, they got their shit through there. That's Necron's band. I've seen Thunder Tank on there. Church Aside, that was one of the ways that I had first started finding out, like, where exactly should I look to hear some of this fucking music, man. So I have linked Goat Throne Records down below fucking kick-ass label man it's in the description box be sure to check them out get your hands on some of this heavy shit there is all kinds of shit on that fucking side man way more bands than just this this is a great little taste though again mad props to fucking Aaron for sending that shit over man I am more than happy to sing the praises of quality fucking metal especially this some of this shit is like underground Texas shit and even the stuff that ain't Texas shit is still fucking quality and I'm all about that, and I'm all about singing the praises of fucking quality, helping some of these underground bands and some of these underground labels get a little more love, get a little more goddamn attention. That's it for this one, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's definitely going to be more in the future, more fucking live streams, more fucking shows, more goddamn uh, guests is another thing I'm going to do. You know, I was talking with MOD and Morton Red, sometime hosting them on my channel. I'm going to do that. I still... Oh, fucking El Necron, my buddy over there, El Necron, who's just a fantastic fucking stand-up dude. Uh, he, he comes out to most of the goddamn shows that I do, even at fucking weird times, man. He's a really cool dude. And I'm going to have him on sometime, man. I just got to find a time, because I do, and you guys have probably noticed, I do a lot of live streams at really weird times. Goddamn, Drew, it's 9 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday, and you're going live. That's right, motherfucker, because my days are goddamn weird. Yeah, but I want to try to do it on a weekend. We'll get a better turnout. I know it's easier for a lot of these other guys. Uh, a lot of these guys that I'll have on, I, I think, are more prone to 
a regular person schedule. And by a regular person schedule, I mean a motherfucker that works probably nine to five is Monday through Friday, which I do not. I'd like to do them maybe a Saturday night. But that's also prime time for when a lot of other motherfuckers like to do their live shows. But we're going to get more than red on here. Fucking MOD. We'd love to have Barry from that Goat Metal show. By the way, this t-shirt is still available. There's a link in the description if you want a Drucifer Channel shirt. Down below, watch that video. It'll tell you how to get it, man. Uh, we've already had people buying them, getting their hands on them. Think of those starving kids in North Korea. They def desperately, desperately need that Drucifer Channel shirt. If you don't want one for yourself, buy it for them, goddammit. But until the next one, keep it goddamn heavy. Keep it fucking mean and offensive. It's the way metal's supposed to be. Go check out Goat Throne Records. Support the fucking underground. Kill, crush, annihilate posers. Later.